In this video, we are going to see how to apply match analysis technique where four matches are present out of that. Between two matches, one current source is present and circuit consists of combination of dependent and independent sources. Now here is the problem where four meshes are given with mesh currents I1, I2, I3 and I4 and we are supposed to get all the four mesh currents. So let's mark the voltage drop based on the current flowing through the resistor. So we'll have this for I1. Then there is a voltage control current source present and the controlled voltage is this Vh. So we'll encircle so that we'll not get confused by this polarity. Then for I2 plus minus plus minus for I3 this is plus minus plus minus and this is because of I4. So all the resistor got voltage drops and along with the polarities. So let's apply K wheel to mesh one now. We we'll start with this voltage. So plus minus. So it's a minus six plus minus minus one by ten is the resistor and current is I1 plus minus minus 1 by 5 i1 minus plus plus 1 by 5 i2 plus minus minus 1 by 6 i1 plus 1 by 6 i4 equal to 0. This time we have to reduce the equations to 3 only. So what we'll do, if you see carefully, we can have this I4 as a 40 ampere directly. So what we'll do, we will have this I4 equal to 40 ampere as a variable and we will substitute over here and we'll reduce the number of equations to 3 only so that we can solve this using a calculator easily. So substitute I4 equal to 40 and simplify, we will get an equation as so I will take this I1 out and all the I1 coefficients in one bracket as minus 1 by 10, minus 1 by 5, minus 1 by 6, plus I2 and we'll have over here 1 by 5. Similarly, we'll have over here I4 which is 40. So I can say it is 40 multiplied by 1 by 6 and the constant minus 6 I will take to other side become plus 6. So this is also a constant which I will take another side. So after simplifying I will get an equation as minus 0 0.4667 I1 plus 0 0.2 I2 and 6 and this 40 by 6 I will take this side to get this as minus 1.6667 as equation number 1. 0 0.4667 I1 plus 0 0.2 I2 equal to 6 minus this 40 by 6 will go this side to get minus 0 0.6667 as equation number 1. So we got a fourth equation. Remember we need three equations. Fourth equation we have treated as a variable so that instead of four this time we will have a three equations only. KVL to mesh 2 and 3 cannot be applied directly because of this current source which will, we will take out of the circuit for the analysis purpose. 
so this is 5 vx this is carrying two current i2 in the downward direction and i3 in the upward direction and the given direction is upward matching with i3 so equation of current source will be I3 minus I2 equal to 5 Vx. Vx is the variable which is given by then. So we need a substitution for the Vx. So substitution equation will be Vx equal to Vx is voltage across. 1 by 5 ohm so it's a 1 by 5 and the polarity given by them is plus minus a red ink matching with this current which is i2 so i can say here it is 1 by 5 multiplied by i2 minus i1 So this will be the substitution equation for the Vx. So if we put over here, we'll get an equation as I3 minus I2 equal to 5 multiplied by Vx is 1 by 5 I2 minus I1. So this 5, 1 by 5 get cancelled out. And in the end, after simplification, we will get a new equation as I1 minus 2 times I2 plus I3 equal to 0 as equation number 2. We need one more equation for solving I1, I2, I3, I4 and that we will get by applying a super mesh analysis to combination of mesh 2 and mesh 3. So let's apply super mesh cable to super mesh let's start with this 1 by 20 ohm so this become minus 1 by 20 i2 we have to bypass the current source go ahead plus minus minus 1 by 15 i3 plus minus minus 1 by 2 i3 minus plus plus 1 by 2 i4 you have to bypass the current source we'll go ahead plus minus minus 1 by 5 i2 and minus plus plus 1 by 5 i1 equal to 0 now the way we have clubbed this i1 i2 i3 over here we can also club here i1 i2 i3 beside i4 we will put as a 40 so 1 by 2 into 40 is 20 so by doing all this modification we will get an equation as 0.2 i1 minus 0.25 i2 minus 0.2 Five six six seven i three and over here if I put i four as a forty I will get twenty on this side. Let's take the twenty on another side that become minus twenty. Equation number three. So equation one two three. After solving these equations, we will get a value of I1, I2, I3 as I1 will get as 10 ampere, I2 will get 20, I3 as 
थर्टी एंड नीडलेस टू से फॉर आई फोर विच इज नथिंग बट फोर्टी ओनली So here we have solved a problem where four meshes were involved, plus a combination of independent and dependent sources were there, and third, there is a current flow between two meshes. So super mesh concept is also covered in this problem. Thank you.